Hey, welcome back to No High Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, give the updates. Right after today's video, it's a collaboration with Fiden's and Other Half. So what they did is they took Fiden's Vegan, the base, and then they uh, dry hopped it with what Other Half does when they do their cheddar broccoli. Um, if you're new to my channel, I try not to look up hops. If it's on the can, fair enough. So I don't know what any of those hops are uh, at time of review. I'll probably look it up after I review it. Uh, so yeah, Fiden's and Other Half Vegan Cheddar Broccoli uh, Double Dry Hop. So double dry hop with the hops. But anyway, uh, Double India Pale Ale, 8.5% ABV. And uh, definitely like, you know, taking that other half logo with the you know cheddar broccoli but using their vegan logo with the cheddar on it i mean it's just it's such a great it, the can design alone is awesome um so this was canned yesterday and i think this is the freshest i've ever had a fight in beer actually <laughs> let's get into it proper glassware so you know it's going to taste better You got the little broccoli over there. Sorry, I just, I love the can art. I love stuff like that, like mashups like this. It's cool. All right, so um, it has, it's yellow, but there is some orange there. It's, the way the lighting is, I'm assume what you're seeing is more yellow than what I'm seeing because it is so thick. What I see is actually a decent amount of like darkness uh, because it's so hard for that light to try to penetrate. But yeah, definitely I'm seeing more yellow than orange. Uh, not much head. Uh, it's like barely off white, tiny, tiny bubbles. Definitely looks like, you know, New England style double IPA. Let's get into the aroma. So I'm definitely hit with sweet, ripe orange. Definitely like the mango peach rings thing. I'm going to assume citrus is one of the hops then. A little bit of an onion dank. Big tropical. Not getting pineapple, more like like papaya guava. And yeah, just there there's definitely some it's not weed dankiness, it's just like generic vegetal dankiness or dankness. With a lot of sweet ripe fruits though. Smells very juicy. It's gonna set taste. Cheers. That's good. That's good. So I probably still do prefer beers like this a couple weeks in the can before I drink them, uh, let alone review them. But this is not particularly green or anything. But there's just just a little bit of like the the. Like, wow, this must, it must have a lot of hops in it, like the, the, the hop particulates, but it's very minimal. You know, if you're not really like looking for it, I think you could just drink this and not even notice it. But anyway, that was more, I, I say that because it's more in my own head. Um, so I'm just kind of like, you know, from a beer reviewer point of view, I'm like, do I notice it this fresh? And there is a little bit of it, but again, it, it's so negligible. Um, like the aroma, big juice. Um, I would say for me, the orange stays and then uh, uh, swap the order. Like then I get the peach, then the mango. Um, some of those tropical fruits for sure coming in. It's got a nice mouthfeel. Little, little white grape. When the bitterness kicks in, that's nice because it is it's very you know it's not very but it, it's got a good level of the the fruity net the ripe fruit so it's like sweet but the bitterness comes in lets you know you're drinking a beer which i always appreciate and yeah just like just enough dankness to kind of like yeah this you know in the bitterness too it's like yep this is still a beer right so yeah those two things work well with this There's another fruit, I'm just, I'm having a hard time identifying it. But it's something familiar, but it's not like something I eat a lot of. It's not like banana or, or um, um, apple or something. But uh, there's another very familiar fruit that I'm having a hard time pinpointing. 
But uh, yeah, nice beer. Yeah. Um, have you had this beer before? Do you know what hops are in it? Although probably by the time that you see this, I'll have looked it up myself to figure it out. Um, have you tried any other mashup beers lately? Collaborations? Anything? Everything? Comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.